Any organization and any person who uses SharePoint must be familiar with the concepts of it being a website composed of web pages and where data and files are stored via lists and libraries. SharePoint comes in many flavors, from the free SharePoint Foundation to the fully licensed and managed SharePoint Enterprise version. And it can be run on a single, fairly simple machine or across an entire server farm that spans geographically around the world. There's a whole list of certain features that do or do not come with the different versions. But for the moment, what we're concerned about are my sites. My sites are not available with the free SharePoint Foundation version of SharePoint. They are available with the standard and enterprise version. However, not all organizations choose to implement them. These are some important things to understand so you know why you may or may not have access to a my site. You'll need to check and see if my sites are available for your use. If they are, they can be accessed from the name menu at the top right of your screen or the SharePoint toolbar at the top near the center. These are all things that we'll take a look at when we take our tour around SharePoint and that will become really familiar and easy for you to find once you first get your eyes on SharePoint itself. The next question, beyond just whether you have a My Site, is what's in a My Site? My Sites are just like other SharePoint sites with a few little extras added in. The extras primarily help make the My Site your site by personalizing it. For example, the My Site has something called a profile that's usually based off of the Windows Server's profile information that's already in place on your network. It almost always should be personalized when you begin using it to be sure the information is current and accurate. In addition, depending on how your SharePoint is set up, you may be able to see any variety of information about your colleagues, from your direct supervisors and team members to a full-blown org chart if all the details have been included for SharePoint to use to generate that org chart. SharePoint can do some amazing things based off of Active Directory, Microsoft Exchange, and all of those other pieces of servers and other equipment sitting in the background in your network that you probably don't think twice about, but that SharePoint can make good use of. SharePoint also uses information in the profiles and about the users to generate social networking information, similar to Facebook or Twitter. You can follow people and let SharePoint keep you up to date on whether they're online, if they've posted any new content, tagged any new items, and so forth. When used properly, it can really enhance your professional relationships and keep you in touch with what others are doing without having necessarily to haunt SharePoint sites 24 hours a day. Of course, your My Site is also a typical SharePoint site, meaning it has lists and libraries, or what are now called apps, in which you can store your own information, either for yourself or to share with your colleagues. Information in your My Site generally should not be of a team or department nature. That information belongs in a team site, but you can store documents and share them with others through the included Share With Everyone folder or by creating your own lists and libraries and putting your own permissions on them. We learn how to do that in the permissions chapter. In short, if your company implements My Sites, each person will have one, and it is your own personal site in which you can store whatever the policies allow. Some people like to keep blogs in their My Site where they can share their own expertise or information. Some people like to keep pictures, especially if you work in production or manufacturing. Maybe you work in real estate or you work with asset management. It really depends on the kind of work you do and the kind of information you need to store. Most importantly is basically anything you want to store in SharePoint can be stored in your My Site. It's your space, as long as you follow the policies about what's appropriate content to store in SharePoint for your organization. What you now know about SharePoint is that it's very easy to access it via a URL or a provided hyperlink. If you don't see what you need to be seeing in SharePoint, you're either in the wrong space or you don't have permissions to see it. That kind of narrows it down. You also know that a site's navigation may be different depending on how it's been customized. Every SharePoint implementation is customized to some level, some just a little bit, others a lot. So what you see on screen may or may not be at all like what somebody else sees on screen in their own company or organization. What we focused on in the second part is that you have a My Site, or at least we're going to assume that you do. And your My Site is your own personal SharePoint site to do whatever with you want. My Sites can do really two different things. They can not only store your own information, but they can also provide a centralized place to monitor what others are doing using social networking features that are found in SharePoint 2013. In the videos that follow, we'll take a tour through the SharePoint interface, look briefly at some lists and libraries, 
open and personalize a My Site, including configuring news feeds and using My Tasks so that you're comfortable with what the SharePoint environment offers in your own space before you dive into the team sites, lists, and libraries.